pretty mixed up. Or so at your service. Were you hiding there? No, no hiding. Uh, lose a contact lens. It is said, he who lose something, perhaps not wanted in first place. You sure know a lot of quotes. Former staff lighter, American Chinese noodle company, fortune cookie insert. <laughs> now, what I do for you, pretty mix-up lady? Well, this is the problem. See, I've been dating someone for over a year now, and nothing's happened. He's just not head over heels in love with me. So I thought maybe you had something. You know. Put him upside down in love. Right. I have it. My love potion blued over 200 years. Like wine, cheese, and tomato sauce improve with age. That's it? Looks like water. No, no, that's not water. I assure you, there's no water. If you put this in a reservoir system, the whole city be rated X. What exactly does it do? The person who drink this fall madly in love with first person he lay eye on for long look. You mean if I give this to Freddy and he looks at me, he'll fall madly in love with me? Right, but no let him look at anyone else. It is first person he really look at. <laughs> And you know, I see better without contact lens. Well, how can I give it to him? I can't just say, here, Freddy, drink this. Oh, you mix it with something. I guess I could put it in his beer. Beer? In tea, I know it works. But beer, we don't have a beer in China. Why not? Is it very expensive? I mean, if it's 200 years old. It is. Seven dollar ninety-eight cents. Seven ninety-eight. Okay, okay. For you, five dollar cash. <laughs> and you remember, he drink it, and first person he really look at, he fall madly in love with. You let me know how it work. I like to follow my cases. I hope it will work. Why not? <laughs> How is it? I hate Ed Sullivan. No, I meant the beer. I'm mm, fine. Tastes okay? Not flat or anything? Polly, a beer is a beer. Hey. What? You know, that Ed Sullivan isn't a bad-looking guy. <laughs> nice smile, good posture. Why'd you do that? I hate variety shows. <laughs> Just when I was getting to like the guy for the first time. Freddie, Freddie, will you look at me? Just for a minute. You know, I never realized what a nice face Martha Ray has. <laughs> What'd you do that for? I'm saving your eyesight. The lighting's terrible. Freddie, look at me. Let's have a toast together. I need some more beer. <laughs> I just moved in down the hall, and my electricity isn't on yet. I was wondering if you had any ice cubes I could borrow. <laughs> He's been driving me crazy. He calls me day and night. It's the potion. He's madly in love with you. <sighs> he doesn't even know me. I told you, it's a potion. Well, I just can't believe it. Well, you can see for yourself by the way he's acting. Isn't there a, an antidote, something? No. No antidote, but a solution. I've got more love potion. If he drinks it and he looks at me, he'll fall madly in love with me. Then he'll drive the two of us nuts. Yes, but it's supposed to erase the effect of the first, so he won't be in love with you anymore. I hope so, because I haven't slept a wink since last night. Thing to do is try and get him in here to give it to him. If he knew I was here, he'd come. Yes, but you can't be here when he drinks the potion again. I've got it. I'll tell him I won't see him until he formally breaks up with you. He has to come here to do it, and then you can give him the love potion. Hi. Hi, Paul. Come on in. I can only stay a minute. I don't know how to tell you this. 
but you've probably noticed already. What do you have to drink? The craziest thing happened. <laughs> I've fallen madly in love with Beverly. Would you like a beer? Wine? I can even give you a ginger ale if you want. Uh, nothing, thanks. I came to say what I have to say, and then I, I've got to go. Oh, Freddie, you've got to have something. Okay, a uh, beer. You sure? No, I'm sure. I mean, it was love at first sight. No, the minute... no. <laughs> I meant about the beer. Oh. What? Oh, yeah, beer. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I opened the door last night to a perfect stranger, and pow, I've never felt anything like that in my life. I mean, it's totally insane. I don't even know her, but I can't be without her. Oh, uh, Freddy, in the bathroom with tissue. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul. Oh. Really, I am. But I had to be honest. It's like there were forces operating that were totally beyond my control. I think I can understand that, Freddie. I didn't want it to happen. Really, I didn't. Is there anything I can do? Drink your beer. Hmm? It's good. You might as well. She won't even see me. I mean, she thinks I'm some kind of a lunatic or something. Freddie. Yeah, I don't blame her. Now, I mean, I am not a religious person, but this is practically supernatural. Freddie, be careful. Be careful. My emotions won't allow... No, no, I meant about the beer. Hmm? You, you, you're just about to spill it and I shampoo the rug. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> well, you're taking this very well, Polly. Like a real uh, trooper. Yeah, well, I guess I'm a very strong person. Freddy, hmm? why don't we have a toast? For old time's sake? I'll ask. Okay. To you, Paul. May you find the same intense joy in your life that I found in mine. I'll drink to that. <laughs> I wish you'd drink to that, Freddie. No, oh, sure. Well, I gotta be going. Uh, you've only taken a sip. I'm not really thirsty. Uh, I gotta get going. Bev's waiting. Hey. What is it? It's, it's kind of like seeing myself for the first time. <laughs> You're no, you, by no, you see, that mirror has a distorted view. There's no sense in looking in. Well, I've got to comb my hair. I'll use the bathroom. Yes, but Freddie, if you look in my eyes, you can see yourself perfectly. Who is that? Who's what? That beautiful woman. That's my mother. Oh, she's lovely. Oh, listen, Freddie, please sit down and drink your beer. I'm not really thirsty, Paul. Well, have some peanuts then. It's the least you can do. I mean, it is our very last beer together. You're a champ, Paul. A real champ. Where are you going? To Beverly. No. Oh, Paul, I thought we got this all out. I thought you understood. I don't understand. I don't understand anything, Freddy. I don't understand one little bit. But in time, you'll see, Polly. It just wasn't right with us. Don't go! Don't. No. Polly, I tried to be honest with you. I can't believe it, Freddy. Look straight into my eyes and tell me you're in love with another woman. What do you think I've been telling you for the last 15 minutes? Tell me again. Straight to my face. It's hard to look you in the eyes and say it. Paul, I feel so ashamed. It's the only way I'll ever believe it, Freddy. Now, what did you want to say to me? I want to say that I'm madly... <laughs> in love with you. I have never felt anything like this before in my life. Never? Never. At least I don't think so. Oh, Paul. I love you so much. <laughs> did it work? My part did. Now let's see if we've removed your part. Come on in. <laughs> Freddy, look who's here. Huh? Hi. Oh, hi. I'm from down the hall. Just moved in. You were here last night. That's right. Polly, I hate to be rude, but there's something I'm dying to do. What? I want to go to the place where we first met. 
Now, at this hour? That's the place I want to propose to you. Oh. Well, where are you going? To the bowling alley. Oh, that's sweet. Listen, while you're out, may I watch your TV? Mine hasn't been delivered yet. Yes, yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Make yourself at home. Bye. Isabel, you're in no position to take care of three small children without me. Who Excuse, please. I'm looking for a pretty young lady who live here. I'm following up most difficult case. <laughs> Hello? I think I saw better make patience in understanding potion for wife, princess, no flower. 